welcome back. If you're new here, hi, my name is Crystal. I put out fashion and lifestyle content several times a week, and I'm really glad that you're here with me today because today I have, I think, one of everyone's favorite kind of videos, a boohoo haul. Oh, the boohoo. Don't we all just love us, the boohoo? I feel like there's not a babe alive that does not love her, the boohoo. If she has met the boohoo, she loves the boohoo. Unless the boohoo has like, kind of like screwed up the return process, which I hear that they do kind of often. I don't know, but I love me the boohoo, so I have another boohoo haul for you guys today. Couple of dresses, lots of dresses, and then one transitional piece because it's the end of July slash early August. I don't know when you guys are gonna see this because I am traveling, and so I don't know when I'm putting this up, but um, I know that kind of some parts of the country are looking at this kind of like the end of summer and we have to start thinking toward fall, which it is way too early for me to be thinking about fall. I feel like summer just got here and I'm ready for summer for a while. Um, so it's a little bit all over the map today. I'm gonna start off with, why not start with a mesh bodysuit? What do you guys think? It's kind of a, always a fun way to kick off a haul. Um, this is the most anti-fall slash most suns out, buns out thing um, you will ever see, I'm pretty sure. Um, and it is this mesh. So, you guys, it's a little bit later in the day. I have no light outside. I'm using all uh, artificial light. So, some things may not look truish. So, I hope this is working well. But it's a mesh bodysuit. Runs really small. I wasn't really super thrilled about it. I'm wearing a US 18. It's fine. I love the parrot. And he's so cute, they're so cute. I love the little parrots on him. So yeah, just a mesh bodysuit, kind of works like a swimsuit, so you bunch it up, you step in, you hoist it up, all good. Um, it's just something kind of fun. I was thinking about getting it for my cruise, um, which I should be on by the time you guys see this. Um, and yeah, I don't know if I will because I don't think the fit is 100% there. Um, you think usually with mesh, because mesh is like really stretchy, this stretches, but it's just not, it's not quite there for me. Um, but I do love the little birds, and I feel like if I took off the patches, and like put them on something else that might actually like be a better use of them because they are just beautiful and adorable and tropical and I love them. Um, I am wearing a bralette underneath this because I, you know, there are a couple, they're different kind of girls. Some girls that would never even dream of wearing a mesh bodysuit, totally understood. Then there are some girls that not only dream of wearing a mesh bodysuit, live their best lives in their mesh bodysuits and wear a bra and awesome or even no bra and pasties. Y'all are the real MVPs. I am of the right in the middle, where I'm here for the mesh bodysuits, not here for the mesh bodysuits with a bra on me, so I wear a bralette under them, so I'm wearing just a nude one from Torrid, um, and I'll link that one down below because I know you guys like to know where I buy my bralettes and stuff. Um, and I wear that over a bra, and so I wear that I wear a bra, then I wear the bralette, then I put this one, the thing you do on. So it's really cute, it's adorable, um, and yeah, you know, not a bad way to start a haul. Paired with the bodysuit, I have these pair of wrap pants. Now, these wrap pants are skies out, thighs out pants. Like these are, there's no, you cannot have secrets in these pants. You cannot have virtue in these pants. These pants are for my daring babes. Um, so if you are not so daring and you like a little bit of conservative, wear these over a swimsuit, you'll be good to go. So they are a wide leg tropical print, but they are a wrap leg. So see, we're at, this is the waist, right? And these, there's a tiny little crossover. Oh, the tiny little crossover is so cute as if it's trying to hold it together. It's adorable. It's wide open. So especially when you sit, you're going to get like all the way up to your hip or how high you wear these. I wear these high waisted at my waist. So when I sit, this is open all the way back basically to my waist. Um, that being said, they are still really cute. I do love them for the beach because you can get away with stuff like that at the beach. And if you're daring, you can get away with it in your daily life. Do what you want. Um, for me, these are beach pants. I'm gonna leave these for the beach in the pool. Um, really like the print on them. There's a lot of tropical print in this haul, you guys. Um, it's just really fun. They're really light. I love a wide leg pant. I love that wide leg pants are finally coming back into fashion. They were really out for a while because it was like the era and revolution of the skinny jean. And now the skinny jean is just went from a trend to a classic, I think. And so now other silhouettes are coming back into play. You see a boot cut coming back. Eh, not so much of the boot cut. Um, and then flares, like big flares, like big, huge bell bottoms. And then also the wide leg pant, which is my personal favorite. Um, so I really, really like these. I think they're gonna be really great for the beach. Um, and yeah, they're really cozy. Just watch out for that slit on the side, you guys, because the website's a little deceiving. 
Okay, moving away from separates, the rest of the haul is all dresses, so I hope that you are here for the pretty because I'm really happy with everything. Just a note, um, I am not wearing Spanx at any point in this video, so any of the dresses that you're seeing in the try-on portion are worn uh, with teeny tiny chonies. So that's big, just the heads up. So if you're wondering how things would look and if I'm wearing Spanx, I'm not wearing Spanx. Would I wear Spanx with almost all of these? Yes, I would. And I'll make sure that I mention which ones I would wear Spanx with. So the first dress I'm showing you guys is this really be oh my god it's so pretty beautiful maxi dress it's got the teeny tiny little sleeve on the arm so it's like a little cold shoulder situation really great to find waist and then it's a wrap front but a very very modest wrap front it's the pants the pants were a wrap pant that are trying to play you these this is very modest i feel like maybe you're gonna see like the top of the knee maybe really really beautiful love this um a recommendation for this for a certain type of babe. If you are the type of babe, because I see you guys commenting, I would never show my arms, I don't wanna show my arms, or Crystal, I'm not there yet with showing my arms. I'm not really ready to show my arms. Um, a little cold shoulder dress like this is going to give you the coolness, like the, the you need skin, it's just so hot, you need to like not be so bundled up. You're gonna get that, but you're also gonna get a little bit of coverage here in the upper arm, which I think is a lot of where a lot of women find their, their struggles or where they're uncomfortable is this area right here. So this dress is going to cover that little teeny tiny bit um, while still allowing air to flow through and to make you feel cool so you're not wearing like a full sleeve. So I did want to point that out. I do love that about this little dress. It's just so pretty and feminine and girly and um, perfect, perfect for your summer date nights. This is, this should, this should be the one. By the way, if you enjoyed that little tip about the sleeve and the, and the armpit, uh, hit subscribe so you don't miss any tip because basically I give styling tips in every single video, every single haul, every single lookbook. So um, if you hit subscribe, you won't miss any of those tips because you can miss them if you don't subscribe. So just, it's down at the bottom. Just click it, hit the bell so you get notified, all the good stuff. Moving forward, this one. So I'm just dead for these prints, you guys. Like dead for these prints. So the thing with this one is uh, my pear shapedness it played me again. And if you're new, pear shaped means that you are smaller on top than on the bottom. I call it pear shape. Well, it's called pear shape. I also like to call it an ombre of thickness. I am smaller on top, and as I go down, I get a little more darker and more heavier and heavier, and all the way down in the ombre of thickness. So the ombre of thickness has played me, but I think I'm gonna get this taken in because it's just too pretty not to. Look at the beautiful hibiscus print we've got a white base with this beautiful tropical print the leaves and the flowers and all this and then we have an off-the-shoulder silhouette just darling just darling so kind of sits like this really cute there's a little V cut out in the front where the boobage is it's so lovely it's just so pretty you guys um, just be careful um, if you are a pear shape just you I mean you, if you're a pear shape you should probably know your struggle by now that nothing's gonna fit you on top that fits you on the bottom I would definitely wear spanks with this I would not wear it with the maxi dress and it's not necessary but with this I would to smooth out the silhouette I've got a lot of stretch in this dress like a lot of stretch so there's a lot of room to move Beautiful, beautiful. I just cannot get enough of these hibiscus. I think that's what they're called. They're hibiscus flowers, I think. Aren't they so pretty? And then I don't know what these are, but these are cute too. So I'm here for the floral, floral prints. I'm here for it. I think that um, this would be obviously a great date night dress. I think if you have a wedding, that's a very casual wedding, like a beach wedding, um, this would be really pretty to wear to that too. Um, I just feel like you can dress this down with like a really pretty gold flat sandal and look really great. You can put on your sky high heels and rock it mama with your weave in and all that stuff. It's a really, really versatile dress. This is the last printed dress and then we have some more other things that are dresses. Okay, this dress um, is a little big because pear shapedness. Um, and I apologize if you watch every video and you hear me talk about because pear shapedness. But sometimes some people are new here and they don't know that pear shapedness is, is a struggle. So, um, but this print is probably my favorite print that I've seen on a dress to date. Um, so the base is a navy blue, and then the the print is a really bright um, kind of green and white. What I love about this is it is a pep, a kind of a peplum dress, um, and it's knee length. So let me open it up. We have a sweetheart neckline which is so flattering sweetheart means that it's got like you know like the top of a heart to think about like it kind of outline first of all it outlines the shape of the boobs and gives you more curve and more the illusion of curve so if you're like a rectangle shape and you wish you were more curvy a sweetheart neckline is going to come from here and it's going to kind of go like this so it's going to 
add curve here. So flattering on literally everyone. Um, and then, so that has this. The reason that this is a peplum, but it's not a peplum, is that there is peplum pieces, but they're only on the side on each, on each of the hips and not on the front. Now that may scare you, but I don't feel like it adds volume to the hips, so I don't think it's adding any weight or girth to that area. Um, I would have liked it to be a full peplum because this, the, the where the stomach kind of where you can see your VBO visible belly outline this is the part when most women want to cover and this dress just is like exposes it and covers places that you don't really typically want coverage in um, outside of that it is still a beautiful dress I'm not wearing spanks with it in the try on portion I would absolutely wear spanks with this and I just need to have it taken in in the back there is an elastic um, but it being a size 18 if it's really nicely on the bottom and just too big on top um, so I think I'll just put in a, like a little elastic or have Amelia, my friend, take it in just on the side for me so I can wear it so it fits a little bit better. But this is a smash hit in my book, you guys. Just an absolute smash hit. So we're gonna cue the sad music here for a second. <laughs> because this dress is so pretty. And I knew when I ordered it, it wasn't gonna fit. Like I knew, I knew, but I was like, maybe it runs small. Maybe it runs small. And then when I got it, the color, when I took, oh my God, the color's so bright. Ugh, okay, whatever. So I ordered this in a 20, it's too big. I need to have it taken in, whatever, fine. I just really wanted it to fit out of the box so I could just run and run around and like run into a field of flowers or something. This beautiful lace dress with the cold shoulder little sleeve vibe. It's so beautiful, you guys. Now, I am a stickler for lace dresses. I have one brand that I always buy them from, that brand is City Chic. They make the best ones, they make the best quality ones. Um, and they made the ones, in my opinion, with the best shape. They are just like, it's a dress that you will buy and wear for the rest of your life. Boohoo, I did not believe that they would put a dress out of similar quality. This is not the same quality, but it is a style I haven't seen, so I was really excited to get it. Um, I am obsessed with the color of this. It's pulling emerald green for some reason on camera, at least in the viewfinder it is. Um, it's definitely more of a smoky, a smoky, like dark sea foam, I guess. Um, it definitely has like a good green tone to it, but there's definitely a lot of charcoal as well. Um, I do love this. It's just too big on top. I knew it was going to be, but I was, I had high hopes. You never, ever, ever hope that something runs small, but I was really hoping. Um, one of the cool elements of this dress is that there is a space between the bust and the skirt that's open that kind of shows a little bit of skin. I don't know if you guys can see me through it, but shows a little bit of skin, which is so, so, so sexy. Um, I'm going to have this taken in because I need it. Also, one of the complaints I have about this, there's no um, sliders on the strap, so they are not adjustable. I think that sucks. Um, I think every every dress should have sliders because it because everyone's boobs are different and diff in a different place on the chest. Like you could be an inch higher, you can be an inch lower, you can be three inches lower, you can be out here. You know, like I love adjustable straps because it gives us the flexibility to do what we want. So um, such a bummer about this dress that it doesn't fit, but hopefully it is salvageable through tailoring. Um, always tailor your stuff, you guys. If you find something that doesn't quite fit right, as long as it fits the widest part of your body, you can pretty much take it in. So I will be doing that with this guy. The last dress is, I'm gonna spoil it, simply stunning. It is just stunning, stunning. It looks a lot like my City Chic ones that I wear a lot, um, except that City Chic do it in white, red with a nude back, and then black with a nude back, like a nude um, lining that you can see through. This is black on black. So clearly it was different enough for me to get it. Let me hold it up so you can see how absolutely beautiful this is. It is a fit and flare dress. Um, similar to the other one, one of the main things that sold me on it is these this ladder detail right here. You can see through, so your skin peeks through just enough to give it a little bit of sexiness. We have the adjustable straps. Can I get an amen? Um, it's just, it's not super well made. I will say that, it's not super well made. Um, they never put the prices on the tags, but everything's listed down below. Um, that being said, even though it's not super well made, if you want a lace dress on a budget, you don't have a hundred bucks to spend on the City Chic one, I totally get it. Or you have an event coming up, you just need one dress one time, even though I would highly recommend not wearing this one time because this is so versatile. Um, get it, just get it. It's such a freaking gorgeous dress the lining is great the length is great it's just 
I, just, I can't say enough good things about it. You see in the try-on portion, the fit is impeccable. The fit is immaculate. So this is actually seems to be designed for a pear-shaped body. I do not have to have this taken in at all. So um, I could not be happier with this dress. I could not be happier with this dress. And I will say, out of all of my hauls in all of the land, I have things that I love more than this dress for sure, aesthetically, fit-wise and stuff. But when we're talking price to, to, to end, price to yield, price to goal, um, it doesn't get better than this dress because Boohoo's always 50% off. Don't forget to use their coupon codes on their site. Um, I don't remember what I paid for this, but I know it wasn't much. And when you think about the fact that I paid like hardly anything for this dress and it looks this good, this is probably out of all of my hauls the biggest winner of anything because the quality is decent. It's incredible for what you're paying. And it's, it's a classic style that you should be able to wear forever. I would say if you're not sure about investing in a more expensive one, start with this and then go up from there. Like at the City Chic one, because the city chic one has some some little details can you tell i'm very passionate about this by the way it's like 20 minutes of talking about the stupid dress um city chic have details in their version of this that this one doesn't have that makes that one win just a little bit more aesthetically in my book but man what a fantastic dress i highly recommend that all of you get it just pause this video click the link go buy it come back finish it's fine the last item i have for you guys is especially for my babes on the east coast because you're probably already thinking about about how end of August is going to be a little chilly or you're thinking of like I need a nice jacket like a little light jacket for a night that I can easily wear into the fall um, so I picked this up with that in mind um, and also just to put away now I got this in a size 16 the sleeves are big um, that's to be expected I'm one of those plus size women that doesn't carry a lot of weight in my ex in my extremity so my hands are not like wide and neither are my feet and so neither are my ankles and neither are my wrists so my arms because they taper so much um, most shirts and plus size unfortunately tend to be like way too big in this area. This jacket is no different. So I just put the sleeves up. It's a two-tone. The body is like a, I don't want to call it like a sweatshirt material, but it's kind of a sweatshirt material. We're getting a lot of stretch here, but we're getting faux leather arms and I cannot get enough of stuff like this in the fall. Um, and especially in transition, I think paired with like, I paired it with jeans and a t-shirt, I think in the, I don't remember, but I think I paired it with jeans and a t-shirt in the try on portion. I would easily throw this over a bodycon. I would easily throw this over a skirt and a bodysuit. Um, it's just really cool, casual, but it kind of gives me this New York vibe, which I obviously who doesn't want a New York vibe in the fall? I mean, really. Um, great faux pockets. Um, so not great faux pockets, but just actual faux pockets. I think they're faux pockets. Let me check before I talk out of turn. Okay, so this, <laughs> that's a little ridiculous. So it looks like there's a pocket here, but really this is the pocket. So if you have something very small, like a lipstick, you can stick it right in this pocket. Okay, so the pockets are kind of useless. Um, but otherwise, I think it's a really nice little jacket. Just gonna be easy to wear. And um, I love the longer length. You, They always look so chic in that longer length. Everything always looks really, really chic. So really happy with this purchase. Um, kind of makes me a little sad to buy it knowing that the sun is you know coming to an end somewhere, not here in Phoenix, but somewhere. Um, and that it's gonna be fall soon, but you know, is what it is. Okay guys, so that is it for me. Thank you so much for joining me today for today's Boohoo haul. And I hope that you saw something that you liked. Don't forget to let me know down in the comments down below what your favorite thing was that I tried on. We both know it's the black dress. Like, I don't even know why I said that because we both know the black dress was amazing and it was everything. Um, and let me see. Okay, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And that is it. Okay guys, I'll see you next time. Love you so much. Bye. Okay guys, so if you like this Boohoo haul, here's an entire playlist of just hauls and I think there's 30 of them now so um if you are in cold weather or is it raining outside or something and you just or you just don't want to leave the house you can binge watch all day long just try on hauls watch them like subscribe I'll see you next time